So I set the KitchenAid shredder mixer, the mixer, the KitchenAid mixer attachment back because I didn't like it. And I just went with the plain old good old box shredder. So I didn't realize I got the one that had a little thing on the bottom. So I just got it from Amazon. Nothing fancy here. We're going back to normal. Oh, well, I ripped it. That's okay. There's a little container. Oh, it's taped up. Container for the bottom. Okay. I guess we're ripping it to get it off here. Here we go. Old school shredder. And it fits this little guy. It gives you a little, very flimsy. I guess you can measure cups and stuff in there. You see that? Yeah. And then it sits right on top and then you can shred into it. Into it. Uh, looks like this rubber piece can come off. So yeah, the one I had before, I don't even know what brand it was, but it was um, the non-stick material and it started to rust down here. So. Yeah, I'll probably take this off when I wash it. Or I might even leave this off. I don't really know if it's necessary. It's, uh, it doesn't really fit in there without it. So yeah, went back to the old school manual powered. Not so bad. I guess uh, little fancy gadgets aren't everything. Also, can you see my grow lights <laughs> over there? All right, I gotta make dinner. But yeah, I went back to the old school manual powered is the best thing uh not the best thing but i guess this is uh this is where i'm at doesn't take up that much space it's light you can use it for multiple different things and it's very easy to wash just toss it in the dishwasher so yeah